Hey, what's going on, people? J Jemo TV HD. Um, check my YouTube channel if you haven't already. We're reviewing the Fenny Fox wireless keyboard with touchpad. Um, this is basically what you get in the box. You've got the keypad, I mean, the keyboards, and you've got this, um, you've got these two little leaflets here. Um, one's just a casual thank you from Fenny Fox, and then you've got a user manual, which is all in English. I think that's the only language they give you here. Um, so yeah, you can um, have a little read of that. The it's quite detailed to be honest, but um, the operation and the plug and play capabilities of this keyboard are quite simple. Um, this is the little adapter. Um, when you first open the keyboard, I'll just show you actually. When you first open the keyboard here, it doesn't come with batteries, by the way. Um, I, you know, I'd probably give it another star if it came with batteries, but um, because I've seen a couple of keyboards and you know gadgets come with batteries but anyway rant over batteries are not included <laughs> this comes in here and um that's how you see it when you first get it so you can pull okay the only way i know how to get this out is to chuck it upside down and you literally plug this little guy into here um you turn it on by the back you see the little on off switch right there and um you're good to go You've got a little on indicator right there to show you that you know it's all on. Um, yeah, what more can I say? Touchpad seems to work great, so that's all your multitasking gestures. You know, you've got your, your pinch to zoom, your double tap to right click, your um, obviously tap to left click, and you've got your scroll up and down with two fingers to scroll up and down on Internet Explorer, as you can see. So, um, yeah, that's all cool. Um, keypad, it feels it feels quite decent. I feel like the keys have quite a decent bit of travel. They they sound quite good as well. I mean, I'll just show you in comparison to my mechanical keyboard, which is obviously a lot more. So it's a lot quieter than my mechanical keypad, keypad or keyboard. So um, that might be a more bit more useful if you're in an office or if you just don't like loud clicking keys i personally do like loud clicking keys because it gives me like an audio feedback that the key has definitely been clicked but um yeah you've got your function buttons up here um and you've got what you've got back and forward on internet explorer and your windows browser you've got the home button you've got a mail button which will open up your mail application you've got your music button which will open up your latest or well, your default music application i should say um play pause stop skip backtrack skip for the track volume down volume up and mute so you got quite a good range of fn functions there and the usual home page down page up and end um so that's quite decent as i said you've got the little touchpad in the corner there and you've got a little mini number pad up here which i thought looked really cute you know just tucked away at the top right of the keypad there but um yeah like i said it's basically a full size well it is a full size keypad um it's just that the num pad and the um touchpad are quite small the touchpad is smaller than a touchpad that you would see in a normal laptop by the way um if that can put it into you know context for you let's say for example what can i what can i use um right here is the side of a credit card and that is how small <laughs> the touchpad is compared to the normal size of a credit card so um yeah Quite smaller than a credit card. Most touchpads are about the size of a credit card, if not bigger. Um, but apart from that, quite a decent, solid keyboard. Um, it's quite strong. It's made out of plastic, as you can see. But it feels quite rigid indeed. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't step on it. I wouldn't step on any keypad, to be honest. But um, this one, it, it seems quite decent. And I love the little inclusion of a touchpad. I'll give it, I'll give it 8 out of 10. I give it 8 out of 10 because I'm quite impressed actually, I'm quite impressed. Um, presentation of the box could have been a bit better, but like really, who cares about that kind of stuff? Definitely give it 8 out of 10, maybe 8.5 even. Thanks for watching, J Jemo TV HD. Check my YouTube channel for more reviews or just check around Amazon. You'll see I do lots of reviews of different gadgets and technology. Thanks for watching, J Jemo TV HD out.